Hey, my friends, this is Evangelist Anita Fuentes coming to you very briefly on a breaking news headline. This headline comes in from the Daily Caller, but now has already caught the whiff of mainstream media outlets. ACLU, the lawyers of ACLU have now blamed Christians for the Orlando terrorist attack. Check this out. Several American Civil Liberties Union ACLU attorneys took to Twitter to blame the Christian right for Sunday's deadly terrorist attack at a nightclub in Orlando, Florida, which left 50 dead and 53 injured. Trace Strongio, who's a staff attorney with the ACLU's LGBT and AIDS project, he claimed the social and political environment cultivated by Christian conservatives in recent months was to blame for the shooting at the Pulse gay nightclub. This is his actual Twitter feed right there. You can see it right there. It says it right here, Chase. And it says here, the Christian right has introduced 200 anti-LGBT bills in the last six months. And people blaming Islam for this? No. Goes on to say, Strange, you also called for solidarity between American Muslims and the LGBT community. Now listen, my friends, I'm, I'm saying all of this because we just reported on our Facebook page yesterday. Here's our Facebook page. This is, this is stunning to me because you cannot... You can't make any of this stuff up. Yesterday, when this headline broke, there's a headline right there. When this headline broke, I had reported, I had stated the following, and I want to quickly go over the comments that I put out there, because I called this yesterday. I had called the exact rhetoric that we're hearing right now. This is what I wrote yesterday. It says it right here, right here. It says, in the midst of so many souls lost, I can only imagine mainstream media's dilemma on trying not to offend anyone in this situation. If they called a shooter a terrorist, it would be, lab it would be labeling Islam terrorists, yet the LGBT community would need to hear that, and so forth. So I was saying how, first and foremost, mainstream media was going to have a field day trying to decide who, who, who not to offend, right? But then I listed here. Now, mainstream media, now the, the far left, they're going to be on a mission the entire week to weave in Christianity's brutal doctrine just to soften the hardness towards Muslims and to remind the LGBTQ who their enemies are. It's a, stat, it's a sad state of affairs if you ask me. But wait, there's more. I also wrote this. Oh, let's see, where am I at? Here it is, right here. I also wrote another comment. I said this, be ready for the first statue of martyred LGBT victims on U.S. soil. This is now being dubbed the worst terrorist attack in the U.S. since 9-11. The worst shooting uh, in U.S. history. Now, as awful and tragic this whole situation is, because many lost their lives and their souls in hell, this tragedy will now cause them to pump up their pink fists in the air and cry out that they will not be shaken. More nightclubs now will come from this. A massive LGBTQ parade will be paraded in the streets of Florida soon, maybe even on the same street, with vile sex acts and perversion, all in a concerted effort to not only stand in the face of evil, but to further reject and to seal their damnation of fate in rejecting the only God who can save them. Now check this out. This is a kicker right here. I wrote this at 8.30 in the morning yesterday. It's right there. I said they will go out of their way to embrace the Muslims to showcase solidarity in the midst of this tragedy. And when Christians seek to use this opportunity for the gospel that saves, that heals, that delivers, that sets free, they will harden their stance once more and seek to make Christians' lives here in America a living hell. God have mercy on them. God have mercy on them. Those are the comments that I wrote yesterday. Again, not even 24 hours. And we have this headline that states, and I quote, from the ACLU, they are now propagating this from the Daily Caller, ACLU lawyers have now blamed Christians for the Orlando terrorist attack. This is dated, as you can see, June 12, 2016, which is hours after I posted that those comments. And you have the lawyer, one of the lawyers stating on his Twitter page, the Christian Right has introduced, again, over 200 anti-LGBT bills in the last six months. And people are blaming Islam for this? No. And again, he states, he's calling now for solidarity. He's calling out for solidarity. You see it right there. Between American Muslims and LGBT community arguing both are maligned and oppressed by the religious right. 
My friends, again, cannot make any of this stuff up. We are living in the last days. Christians, be ready. Body of Christ, be ready. You're talking about persecution. You think that you've gone through persecution? Chances are you have it. I'm going to tell you something. There are levels of persecution that we have not yet seen or known before. Be ready. The day of the Lord is at hand. Walk circumspectly, redeeming the time for the days are truly evil. For such as the prophet Isaiah says, as being quoted in the book of Isaiah, he says, woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Woe to those who exchange bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Repent, ACLU. Repent, Chase Strangio. Repent, repent, world, for the day of the Lord is at hand. God bless you. Be sure to tune in tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as we log on live on air with Open Your Eyes, people, breaking news broadcast tonight. Again, don't miss it, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name, bye-bye.